Hi everyone, Scorp here. Starting a new playthrough of Duel of the Roses Gemini. Um, so there's a lot that's happened since the last um, playthrough I did. Um, one thing that's going to happen is looks like the voting was in and people don't want me to do animations. Which is fair because, I mean, I didn't like it either. <laughs> um, but um, this... Uh, this playthrough is going to be a challenge run. Um, and it's probably going to be a pretty brutal challenge run. Uh, so, we'll see what we can do. Um, and I plan to show as much of this as I can. Um, however painful that may end up being. Um, so, to start with... Um, I should go over the rules of this challenge. Um, I have to play through the game, and the only thing I can attack with is creatures that have been um, summoned through Ritual Summon. Um, not Ritual Fusion, Ritual Summon. So, I'm going to have to get Ritual cards. Um, so... What I'd like to do is to start off getting the Revival of Senen Jinjin. Um, and to do that, I'm going to start off by putting in a password for some rituals. Um, because they're one-cost cards. Um, and that should make reincarnating for them pretty easy. So while I do that, um, so I'm just going to grab one. Um, it's not like we're going to try to win the game or anything with this deck. Um, I'm hoping to transition pretty quickly over to something that isn't just this. Um, I'm going to start off by um, speeding up here, or if I can, hit F4 and disable this frame limiter because... We're going to surrender three times. Um, so that I can do a reincarnation. Um, and get the survival of Sen and Jin Jin. Um, while I go ahead and get um, this out of the way, uh, I'm going to discuss some of the things that happened. Um, so I hope this video can go up on time. Um, it might not. Because um, I've been having issues with my computer. Um, I So my ISP was like, hey, uh, you're not going to have internet for a couple days because um, weather took out uh, some things and we need to fix it. So, okay, whatever, that's annoying, but deal with it, right? Um doesn't stop me from making these but I'm like well you know what I've been meaning to do for a long time to my computer is to recase it because um, this thing has been overheating a bit when I'm playing taxing games on ultra like Baldur's Gate 3 on ultra which I mean there aren't many systems that can actually do that without going up a little bit in temp um, and the case was definitely the problem um, so I went and bought a new case, yeah, and then started uh, switching out components, um, switched out all the components in a couple hours, um, turned it back on, worked, but I didn't like put it all back together, finished putting it all back together and it didn't turn on anymore. Um, after uh, half a day of <laughs> troubleshooting, um, found out that, figured out um, it wasn't the power supply, it was the motherboard. Um, which is probably the worst possible thing you can have go bad on a computer. Um, because when the motherboard goes bad on a computer, you basically have to take everything out to replace it. Um, so I went and bought a motherboard and replaced it. Um, and that took forever. Because <laughs> you have to take out everything. Um out of the thing that I just assembled. 
Um, and unfortunately, when you install a new motherboard, um, Windows uh, doesn't really like that because um, there are many security features that try to prevent you from just taking a hard drive out of somebody's computer and putting it into another one. And so you can't just boot somebody's computer like that and get all of their information, which is pretty fair. Um, but unfortunately, my uh, motherboard died. Um, if I had access to it, I could have um, stolen, like, there's a key that you can use to... Uh, Uh, that you can use to unlock your drive um, from a Linux computer. Um, but unfortunately, since that uh, motherboard wouldn't booty at all, boot at all, um, you can even pull that right off the pins um, if you want to and physically attack somebody's hard drive uh, motherboard. Um, most of them have that flaw still. Um, but that's my tech talk about um, hardware vulnerabilities for a minute um, while I'm trying to get this and failing miserably um, because I'm looking for exactly one card and reincarnations are hard um, so anyways uh, replaced all of that um, got done and realized that um, actually bent some pins on a hard drive that was completely accidental but um, I believe it happened because um, uh, I left it plugged in, and I shouldn't have, so that really sucked. Um, so now I still have to do a little bit more to get a new hard drive. Um, so I'm using my primary hard drive for recording right now, which is not great because it's a solid state, um, and solid states have very finite read writes compared to um, some of the, to like a standard disk drive. Um, they're getting better, but they're still nowhere near as good. Um, so we're, so I am going to get a new one of those at some point, probably next week, um, because I don't want to deal with any more this weekend. <laughs> um, and I really can't get the Sun engine. So, um, that was enough story time. I'm going to actually be right back and try to get exactly what I want. So, BRB. Okay, now this took forever to get. Um, so, we need two Beast Warriors and a Millennium Golem. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe Millennium Golem is obtainable. Actually, that might be a big problem. Um... I thought this... I forgot this was Millennium Golem. Um, let me see if I can... I should have checked this before I started, but... I am very disorganized today, so you guys are all going to have to bear with me. And we might end up losing a whole bunch here to start off with. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, and you can't fuse in the Millennium Golem. Oh well, we'll just do this again. Um, we're going to have to reincarnate a couple times, so. Quick surrenders. Good thing that's only three now. Um, also, if you ever need to do reincarnations, that's pretty much the best way to do it. So I'll be right back when I get another ritual. So BRB. Okay, well, I got one of the cards that I wanted on the first try, um, which is uh, a Dancing Elf. We're going to need that in a minute. So um, unfortunately, we can't use this yet because King of Yami Makai is hard to go get. Um, so back to it. 
real quick. Uh, also, while we're here, um, that's on abbreviate. Good. So, keep it on abbreviate. Some might say I might just want to give myself a deck for this, but this is a challenge run, right? I'm supposed to actually try to do it legitimately. Um, however much having to re ridiculously do a bunch of reincarnations can never be. But Derby again. One sec, before I go through all of this, let me make sure that I can even do this ritual without cards. Um, so otherwise I'm going to have to go to something else. And yeah. Oops, I went past the number. So yeah, um, then, oh, great. I can't get Princess of Sewer Guy. Okay, well, I will eventually want to get that for this playthrough. We're going to have quite a few of these losses, it looks like. Um, because there's not really much I can do to start the game. Um, with cards that I want um, that can actually do these rituals um, and we're gonna have a hard time getting the cards we need oh and Queen's Double is also not available although I'm pretty sure Queen's Doubles are reincarnation although I'm sure that both of them are available from Taya uh, let's see here what else do we have I'll be right back Okay, I have a plan now. So, we're going to use Turtle Oath to start with. Um, that means that to start with, I need to lose three more times, sadly. Um, the person that doesn't like it when I lose is uh, going to be very sad. <laughs> so, um, we're going to go ahead and lose like that. Um, so, I'm going to go to my deck. Uh, we actually need to take out something around 35 deck cost. Sankey probably works. Just shoving a fake trap. Um, good thing we don't destroy the card that we're reincarnating now. Um, this shouldn't be too hard to find, I don't think. Um, since we're looking for a 30,000 year white turtle, and it should be reincarnation. Um, I say it shouldn't be far. I'm gonna be right back and find it. <clears throat> okay. Now I think we're almost ready to get started. Um, we just have some uh, passwords that we're gonna have to put in. Um, and I'm just gonna go to the Aqua sections in the, in the passwords. Um, which Aqua should be... Um, around 584. <laughs> it's a good thing that um, Tay is really easy to beat. Um, let's start with... You know, if I knew I was going to start this way, I would start with an Aqua deck. But, um, so the rules of this are going to be no attacking unless I, I can't attack, nor, um, tr I can, I'm going to try to not inflict damage with anything other than ritual monsters, um, which that's going to be a pain. Um, if my opponent decides to, um, just attack into me though, I'm, I'm going to probably be okay with it for this, um. Um, so while I do this, um, circling back to my computer, um, I have it back together and it's stable enough, so, um, 
that's good. Um, and that lets me, um, and it's better now. It's thermal is doing better. Um, unfortunately, I've been reinstalling programs and um, OneDrive has not been cooperating. Um, I trusted it a little bit to do some level of backups um, and I have had to pretty much rely on Google Drive for basically everything, which is really, really sad. Um, it's not gone very well, I'll put it that way. Um, um, water um, modics is probably something I'm going to want because it'll end up being used for... It could technically be used for another ritual, so... I can do that. Um, just in case I want to go for that one. Um, these first couple duels are going to be very rough, though. Um, we're, what I want to go for is Cosmo Queens or Senge Engines, one of the two. Um, the problem is Senge Engine isn't really obtainable for a long time. Um, and we didn't really start with the best deck for this. Definitely far from it. That's part of this challenge. Um, there's definitely going to be some people that say this is psychotic, and I agree with them. This is not the best idea for a challenge run. Um, probably not something that you should do. Um, I don't even know what I want to pick for some, some of these cards that I want in my deck. Um, well, that's probably enough to get started. Make sure I put tur Turtle Oath in my deck. Um, okay, well, we're gonna go try to beat Taya. And hopefully she drops the Princess of Sewer Guy. Um, actually, what we should do... Um, without attacking, since we don't need to do attacking. Um, we'll just do this. Custom duel. Um, I'd like to duel myself. We'll just go here. We're gonna lose this. Um, but oh, good. That is a great hand. That is what I wanted to see. We'll just make this a little easier on ourselves. Um. Just because this episode is going to take for literally forever if I don't start speeding stuff up. Um, I'm going to speed stuff up a bit. That water artwork is, uh, or that card artwork is, um, a little bit more revealing than I'd like. So I'm just going to pass turns here for like 15 or 20 turns. You guys have seen me do this before. Um, I'm going to set those cards as my deck leaders and basically just duplicate them. Um, this is probably the only thing that's going to make this run even remotely tolerable, so. Okay, so we'll surrender. And we get promotions on all of our creatures. Okay, so now we can go to our build deck. Um, and we can take out the 30,000 year white turtle. 
near the bottom. It doesn't matter what I put in. And you guys have seen me do this before. Now this doesn't go against the rules. I didn't attack. I just ended. My, I didn't even end my turn. They just lost. Which is pretty nice for us. Okay. I just wanted three of those. I don't need to go ridiculously hard on that. Um, we'll go ahead and get um, oops, uh, some monsturtles. Do the same thing. Monsturtles not the greatest card, but um, if we have to, we can get some time wizards and make ourselves able to to fuse into the 30,000 year white turtle. Oh, that was terrible. I'm just kind of doing this quickly. Trying to not save state too much on the slots, but I mean, I have infinite chances here, so. And I just want the card. Oops, I didn't need this. Oh well. Okay. Of course, I, I got one when I really didn't mean to. Um, but this will let me have. Uh, enough cards to really go for this ritual without really having a hard time. Oh, that's a uh, great. I really should have not chosen water emotics because hopefully YouTube doesn't get mad. Oh, also, if you want to farm uh, three in a row. Oops, I didn't need to do this one. Okay, so go ahead and save. Honestly, I'm probably not going to use that card. Because um, uh, I don't want the YouTube filter to get too mad at me. Uh, maybe I... I don't know. I, I know we're going to get out of using them these waters pretty quick. Probably. Who knows? Okay, and just go again. Okay, so... Go back to campaign, build our deck real quick. Um, this is probably going to be a longer episode, just due to the nature of it. Here, we'll just rebuild the deck real quick. Um, and I'll put in three of those, three of those, um, three of these. Um, three of those. Curse breakers, sounds great. Um, traps, since I can use as many traps as I want. Turtle Oath. Um, and the rest is just going to be the lowest deck cost stuff I can. Oh, 
Um, so now just put in something this leader. Battle steer will work because um, those waters are too low level for them to have effects. Um, now I highly doubt this deck could actually beat a good competent opponent, but Taya is far from a good nor competent opponent. Um, and now we've finally gotten to um, actually doing something that isn't this setup. Um, unfortunately, it's still not going to go great for a while. Uh, I would like to try to not get her aggroed. Unfortunately, um, she does push forward really hard. Oh, well, it's definitely an Echo Gal with an equip. Which is terrifying. That's 2200. Um, yeah. I was hoping to not see an invigoration from her. But, you know, of course she's not going to cooperate. Now we just get to see how horrendous um, rituals actually are. Because I still haven't drawn my ritual card yet. Well, there's a ritual card. But it is not the correct ritual card. Um, I would like to do the ritual on the bottom of the cross if I could. That would be the best place for it. Um, I would also like to um, do this before I run out of cards in my deck. Oh, hey. Got pretty much everything I asked for there. Okay. So all that for one twenty-five fifty creature. Yep, ritual summoning in this game is terrible. Okay, kitty down. Okay. I was wanting to bait my opponent now. But we'll see how this goes. Um, we'll just face up defense this. Oh. That's not great. Oh, she should attack this still. Hmm. 
Okay, do 1300 damage. Face up defense this. Okay, should be a win at this point. Again, I just need to do a couple more hits of damage. Um, unfortunately, my opponent has put a million cards in the graveyard. So, even if there's a Princess of Sewer guy for me, somewhere in there. It is quite unlikely that um, I could even get it. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Should be good. It's more damage. This is going to be slow going to finally off her. Especially when she heals. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're gonna have to actually do this duel a couple times. Um, especially if I were to want actually multiple copies of Turtle uh, Oath, um, because Turtle Oath uh, is... It's not reincarnation only, but uh, getting the AI to actually even play it on the field and get it destroyed is not easy. The card artwork and the um, 3D art of Water Emotics do not look the same. I mean, I know that if there isn't an equip card on one of those, that um, that card is not going to lose, but I don't want to risk it because I'm already going to... I want to win once this episode. <sighs> Change of heart. Huh? Hey, uh... Why is Tay not attacking me? No block attack. Okay. Now, just played that.
Uh, so now she's suddenly attacking? Um, I have almost exhausted all of the cards in her deck, though, so... Well, she's out of cards. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. What? She didn't even put it in defense. Her AI is probably broken now. For I don't know why her AI is broken. Well, there's a princess of sewer guy. Why is your AI broken? Hey, you don't have any cards to really break your AI. I guess most Radiant could do it. Oh, man. Well, uh, this was a really long episode. Um, although the first like half of it was just doing random stuff, trying to get to a point where I could do this. Um, none of these cards are anything I want, though. Although the beasts might be helpful for super war lions, so. That's a female. Not exactly what I want. Definitely not what I want. Hey, we got a Grifor. That's a beast. Now if I can go into Super War Lions, um, because I can go to Leo Guns. But yeah, uh, we'll figure out something here. I'll try to think on it, come up with a better strategy for, uh, doing the rest of this. Um, yeah. This is a mess to start with, but that's okay. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.